Good afternoon from the Civil Human Rights Front Pro Democracy March. He's a support vehicle just coming out of uh, Victoria Park. Five demands, not one less, reiterating uh, the demands of the protest movement in this, the first approved demonstration of the new year. Of course, of course, we saw some unrest overnight, protests around Nathan Road. Over 40 new unions joining the demonstration today. Got a minute, Miss Mo? Yes, hi. Claudia Mo of Pro Democracy Camp. Do you think that there is sustainability and momentum in the idea of economic pressure through uh, boycotts and the yellow economy and these new unions? I should think it's going to work. It may not uh, work thoroughly or in full force, but then it's going to work. Uh, they're terrified. That's why government officials would actually bother to come out and say, oh, uh, this is against the free market. Well, this is my choice. Uh, uh, so the, the going to which restaurant or something is my own choice. Whether that is the free market. But there is freedom. So what's he talking about? They are getting uh, uh, worried. They're probably getting terrified. And I do think uh, as a result, it shows you it's going to work. It's quite so obvious. And uh, it's so think uh, Hong Kong's just a money pot, that uh, we are um, politically apathetic and uh, maybe even emotionally anemic, but uh, they're very wrong. Everyone has us underestimated Hong Kong's political willpower, and here we are. We are going to fight on. We're not standing down. It's a decent turnout today. One more question. Your sign is about police brutality. Um, uh, for many years you've been going down to the front lines often as a peacekeeper. Um, how are the police ever going to rehabilitate their uh, image and respect in the community? What needs to happen this year uh, for, for the police to regain that respect? Um, the, will, uh, this is going to be almost an impossible task. The police force in Hong Kong would need to completely revamp. Uh, they need to completely shock to uh, uh, what they have to Like the 60s. Like the 60s. And uh, there should be uh, some form of punishment. I mean, you can see so far, not one single policeman has been uh, 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 investigated let alone keep past in any way. And this is just unbelievable. You go to the front line trying to uh, make peace and you announce, I come in peace and they say, no, you are a rioter. Get, uh, go away and get lost. Or, uh, or else that kind of mentality. They're not here to serve the people. They, they are not from people like the enemy. And as so they themselves are the army. This is completely wrong. Thank you, Miss Mo.
I will uh, let you continue. Be safe. Is this live? Yes, it is. Oh, it is live. Hello. Happy New Year. A thousand people watching. All right. Happy New Year. Take care. One of the conveners of the pro democracy camp there, Claudia Mo, voicing concern about police behavior here at the front of the march as we go towards Sogo and Causeway Bay. A lot of people nowadays joining these marches are further into further into the march but absolutely packed today I would say it, it does feel busier than the uh, civil front march we saw in December which ended peacefully we do see some people kitted out in frontline gear, so who knows how today may end, but for now, thousands streaming out of Victoria Park, many clad in black, many holding up five fingers. Representing the five demands. Ivy Chan just leading the uh, civil front. still open here in Causeway Bay. Hong Kong is of all ages. 